Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at anaphylaxis, a common medical emergency that can occur within a general practice or a dental practice setting. So we're going to look at how is anaphylaxis actually caused? What are some of the common allergens that can lead to an allergic reaction? And we will also be looking at the signs and symptoms of an anaphylactic reaction. And we will provide you with a mnemonic at the end of the presentation that will act as an aid memoir for you to recall the signs and symptoms of an anaphylactic reaction. So what is the uh, definition of an anaphylactic reaction? The definition is a severe life-threatening generalized systemic hypersensitivity reaction. So how is an anaphylactic reaction actually caused? Well, it's a severe reaction to an allergen, a reaction that causes a massive release of histamine leading to circulatory collapse. So basically, it's a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, uh, and which is IgE mediated. Well, an anaphylactic reaction can be caused by any particular allergen, but the most common things are like nuts, shellfish, food, uh, bee stings, antibiotics, anesthetic drugs, hair dye, and latex. So when recognizing any type of emergency, it's important to follow the basics of A, B, C, D, E. So A is airway, where the patient may present with difficulty breathing, sensation of the throat closing, or a hoarse voice. Well, B is for breathing, where they may present with increased breathing rate, shortness of breath, confusion, tiredness, wheezing, and even respiratory arrest. C is for circulation, where the patient can actually lead to a circulatory collapse due to a massive release of histamine and leading to a, such a low blood pressure. D is for disability, where the patient's neurological status can become quite impaired due to reduced brain perfusion. There may be signs of confusion, agitation, and also a sense of impending doom, where the patient will, is thinking that they will actually die. E is for exposure, so it's important to examine the patient because the areas of erythema can just be affecting the skin, the mucosa, or both the skin and mucosa as well. So there may be evidence of erythema or patchy generalized red rash. There sometimes can be urticaria presenting with a nettle rash or welts. It may also present as severe angioedema, leading to swelling of the lip and the tongue, and can also lead to swelling of the airways. So the mnemonic that we are going to use is allergic to remember the signs and symptoms of an anaphylactic reaction. So let's look at the first letter A. A is for ashen grey appearance, angioedema, abnormal breathing. L is for loss of consciousness or low blood pressure. The second L is for laryngeal swelling. E is for extensive rash which can appear as hives, wheels and nettles which can be extremely itchy. R is for respiratory depression. G is for generalized flushing. I is for itching and inflammatory exudate. And finally, C is for bodily cramps that can also occur during an anaphylactic reaction. Hey guys, I hope you've really benefited with the mnemonics and the short presentation of anaphylaxis. If there's any particular mnemonics or subjects that you're looking for, please kindly comment below and we'll endeavor to make some mnemonics for any particular subject that you want us to. Uh, please kindly like and share and we'll see you soon in our other videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.